Welcome back, people of Earth and planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and today we have a very special mystery box. Monday rather than bag. They only open rag bags, but because a good friend of the channel, Justin, uh, hooked us up, we actually have three giant mystery boxes of vintage tees. This is some of the stuff that he's collected over the years. Uh, needed to get it out of his closet, so I bought it from him, and we're really excited to get into it. I don't know what is in it yet, so we'll find out, uh, but whether whatever it is, it's going to be super fun to find and discover together. Let's get into it. All right, so we have the first box here. I'm going to go ahead and bust it open. Uh, he sent these bo three boxes, all about the same size. Very well packaged. Good job, Justin. Uh, very excited to see what we have here. All right. Breaking into it, he has it bagged in a bag, so maybe it is a mystery bag Monday of sorts. Let's go ahead and get it free from that. And we'll stack up t-shirts right back in the box for now. All right, let's get into it. I'll show you guys each shirt as we go down. All right, first shirt. And this A to apparel. Uh, North Carolina, that's the Carolina Panthers. Dope, it's single stitch, single stitch, yeah, sick. It's an extra large spell out, that is in great condition. Good start, very cool. What else we have here? We have some, uh, we have some Nike sweats. Oh, these are actually kind of, ooh, wait a minute. Hmm, Nike sweats with the, the pockets. Might have to hold on to that myself. Very cool. All right, we have uh, we have this uh, BVD vintage uh, blank sweatshirt. Maybe they go together. They look pretty dope. Nice sweatshirt right there. Nice vintage sweatshirt. We got an old school. Oh, this is cool. Uh, it's a it's it looks it's a blank to blank, but it's double stitched. But this is an old. It's an older jerseys tag. Let me see that. It's an older jerseys tag. Main USA. Uh, that's really cool. I've not actually seen that. Ta I've actually never thrifted that tag, so I guess I get another notch in my belt. Um, so we have a UFC T here. I don't know how old UFC is, but that's interesting because it does have. It's like uh, hard to tell. I mean, in Mexico, it does have this. So maybe early from the early days of the UFC. It's pretty cool. What we have here? We ha oh, we have a liquid blue. Oh, sick! One of the this is a dope tee. Liquid blue, the Beatles. It's huge. It's a it's a size XL on the old vintage uh, liquid blue tag. This is a great tee right here. Fantastic tee. Uh, nice big size. The Beatles. Fantastic. Dope tee. All right, we have a Nike. Gray tag from the early 2000s, late 90s. Uh, that's a, just a sweet, that's a sweet colorway right there. Super sick, nice. There's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of stuff. Who knows? I have to break this up. All right, we have this. Oh, this is sick right here. We have a Hanes beefy. We have an HBO Sports. This is the wear is so perfect. HBO Sports. It just has the front hand on the, on the front, but that is sick. That's a dope tee. I like that a lot. All right, very cool. All right, we have a Screen Stars Best. Snap into a Slim Jim. This is a dope tee. And we got a single stitch. Slim Jim, uh, Slim Jim, like, early promo stuff. This is this is sick. This is one of the, the dopest tees so far. Definitely one of the dopest tees. And a great size, too. Good find, Justin. All right, we got a Toltex blank sweat right here, a little smaller. On old Toltex. Looks like we got another. Now uh, we got a Santee sweat, uh, like probably 90s Santee blank. A hoodie. Uh, that's actually real nice. That's real clean. Real clean. Real clean. 
that that's really nice. actually for for like a for like a, a not a huge brand name. That's a nice little piece there. Here we have we have a Pendleton. It looks like this might be like a 70s or 60s. I gotta double check my Pendleton uh, my Pendleton label uh, guide. But this thing looks uh, fantastic. I don't see any obvious like moth holes in the in the in the wool. So this is sick. This is a great little piece right here. Oh, okay, this is dope on the Hanes, the Hanes Active Wear. One of the coolest right here. Look at that. Freestyle Daffy, Serious Airtime USA 95. So this is probably actually produced for the Olympics. This is super, like, super in, in season right now with the Olympics. That is dope. With the Winter Olympics coming up even better. Yeah, great stuff so far. Uh, this is a cool one. It's on a Sherry's Best. This is just like a. This is just like one of those, like perfectly cool, um, no like, no big name like brand or anything. But the, the design is sick, and it's a super clean tee and a medium. But it actually looks like it may run a little bit bigger than that, maybe. But super super clean. All right, what we have here. We have Skimmers Hershey Chocolate. Is this Hers a single stitch. Hershey's chocolate tea, milk chocolate. That's sick. I never found a single stitch Hershey's tea, so great find there. You're a little bit closer to to Hershey P, Hershey PA than I am. All right. Oh, this is another dope one on the Miller. Such a cool double sided tea right here, single stitch. Um, wicked cool, wicked cool. All right, what do we got here? We've got the uh, WR Gas. I'm not sure. I'm actually... It's on a single stitch. Like a hot rod tee. Mustang. I've never actually seen this tag before. Made in Bahrain. So maybe this is like a European uh, tag or something. That's cool. Single stitch. Okay, we have a College Concepts. It's funny, though. It's a professional team. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, that's super good looking. 94, single stitch. Great Steelers merch right here. Very clean too. Great job, very clean. <clears throat> Alright, Walt Disney, we got a Mickey T right here. An older, uh, old, probably, let's see. Yeah, this is probably like late 90s. Mickey T, still the greatest. That's right, a little ringer. Great size too. Got Duluth Trading Company, uh, like a flannel, good size, XL, real durable. This is, Duluth makes I think underappreciated garments, uh, especially like they have pretty high, like high standards, high quality. Oh, this is interesting. We've got this. I don't know if this is technically vintage. I don't know. This might be early two thousands. Um, Mothman. Point Pleasant, West Virginia. That's just a super dope graphic. I don't know. Is Mothman like is Mothman like a local legend out in, out like near West Virginia or something? But that is a super sick graphic. I could definitely definitely wear that one. All right, here we have um, we have the Screen Stars XL single stitch, probably like late nineties, late eighties. Mara 5N295. I don't know what this is, but this looks really interesting. Worldcon bid. Super interesting. Super unique. I love these graphic tees from that era. Like, just for all the different events or something. Oh, we got a nice, we got a nice uh, Hanes Beefy Tee. New Orleans, like, kind of like tourist tee. French Quarter from the French Quarter. Probably not, like, early, mid-90s. That's super sick. It's a long sleeve. It's super clean, too. We have here we have a Woolrich. This is a made in the USA still, though. Uh, this is probably early 2000s, maybe late 90s. Actually, probably late 90s, most likely. That's a nice little flannel. Oh, this is sick. We have a uh, Marlboro, uh, like a kind of like kind of like the T Snap, similar uh, fleece. The Marble Unlimited. It's a great size, great big size. 
Very warm looks like. Very warm. Super super dope piece there. Man, Justin, you had a good little collection here. Got logo athletic Dallas Cowboys right here. Uh, just like sweatshirt and a, another good size. Oh, this is a little bit big. It's 2XL, but still a good size. Good design. Oh, so we have some Levi's here. Not just not just a, a, a vintage tees. We have a, a, a 550 Levi's women's size 16. And the 551s, 550 ones, what I meant to say. Those typically are a little bit bigger sizes. Oh, this is cool. Underrated, in my opinion. We got a vintage uh, Arizona Jeans Company. Uh, dope little graphic there. Love finding some of these, like, unloved, uh, like, uh, vintage brands. Um, some, of their, some of their stuff is underrated, in my opinion. We got, I think it's like another, we got a Fruit of the Loom, like, ladies, blank sweatshirt here. Dope little piece. Like the color on that. Let's see what else we have here. Um, we got another Toltex blank. This is dope. Toltex blank black sweatshirt. Sick on that. That's sick one right there too. All right, so that's box number one. That is sick. Incredible, man. Um, super dope, Justin. You've got a good eye, dude. Good eye. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe we'll let's get into this next one. That's what we'll do. All right, next one right here. Nice big box. I don't even think this is the heaviest one. The heaviest one is the last one there. Uh, so pretty excited to see what we can pull out of this one. That first box was really good too. Really good. So let's pull the bag out of this one. Put that to the side. Toss the tees in there. Got a bag here. Oh, sick. We got some. Oh, dude, that's. Uh, we have. Uh, oh, these are sick. These are the. Um, what's that? Andre. Uh, the. Uh, court. Something court. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, these are uh, dope Nike. Literal tennis shoes. I can't remember what the, the court thing is. It'll come to me as we start talking. That's a dope. Those are dope. Dope piece. Those are repros. Those are not like uh, brand new, but they're super sick. All right, so we have here, he mentioned this. Uh, he has a Gucci shirt in here, and he wasn't sure if it was legit or not. Got the Gucci tag. I am nearly 100% sure this is fake. He didn't know. He was just threw it in there. Yeah, I'm thinking this is, yeah, this is definitely fake, I believe. So still cool looking shirt, but uh, I do think it is a, it is a fraud. So it was a good thing you didn't sell that on eBay. Um, so, all right, we'll. Uh, there's another little bag separate in here. We'll we'll get to that in a minute. We've got a tap out shirt from probably early two early two thousands here. Dope. Um, we have what's this right here? Is this is a Heineken. Oh, we have uh, uh, Power Pro from uh, Oneida or Juanita. That's sick, actually. That's a dope Heineken tee. What do we got? 97. Art by McLenor. So this is interesting. This is like a specific like uh, art design that they did. It is single stitch, and this is super clean. U.S. Open uh, 1997. So it's like a special edition, too, I think. Maybe like only sold at the Open. That's sick. Uh, we have a... Oh, this is interesting. Bassett Walker... Bake, it's Bacon Academy, <laughs> like Wildcats, Bacon Academy Wildcats. That's actually just the graphic is super sick on that. That's dope. Great color. I love the color too, the deep blue there. All right, we got a big old fleece in here. Oh, huh. Maximania. I've I've had I've had this fleece before. Or I've sold this fleece before. Big old fleece. Is it like double XL? No, just XL. I mean, you say super sick. I've had, I think, a different design of this, but it's super sick. I think it's got horses all over the place. This is dope. Great find. All right, we got a sports image. Oh, this is sick. Sports image Dale Earnhardt T right here. Uh, we got from 1991. Great T. Single stitch, super clean. The graphic is fantastic. Oh, very good, very dope tea. Got 
got some sh uh, shorts here. We got, what are they? There's some Nike gray tags. Dope, I keep needing some of those things. Uh, a few more pairs here. There's probably more Nike gray tag, Nike gray tags in the blue colorway. Dope. Another fleece here. We've got a Nautica competition fleece. That's sick. Big old spell out the Nautica competition. That's dope. Love the Nautica. And then it's got the patch here, the, the rubber patch. Super dope. Love the Nautica competition stuff. Looks like we got another flannel. We got Five Brothers. I don't Five Brother. I don't actually don't know anything about Five Brother. Um, I don't even know if I've ever thrifted them. Uh, so someone might inform me about their quality. But made in USA. Super dope. This looks like a super high quality piece too. Super warm. Super high quality. All right, we have NFL uh, store. Looks like early 2000s Steelers hoodie. Dope. We got some trunks here, Havana, Newport Blue. I don't know much about. The only trunks I know about are like, like some of the old vintage uh, Tommy trunks. We got a pluma uh, uh, blank here. Blank? Yeah, blank. We got a pluma vintage blank. We do like having blanks around. Like selling them. Hopefully not to. We got timeout. Thunder herd Marshall tee. Dope. Uh, yeah, this is dope tee. Probably early 2000s on that one. Uh, let's see what's in this little bag. This separate bag here. I'm not sure what if it was. If there was anything particularly special. Oh yeah, this is sick. Oh yeah, super sick. This is some good stuff right here. We got some Cotton Exchange, North Carolina. Dude, Tar Heels. The single stitch. One of my favorite college teams. Uh, that, that's an incredible tee. We got a uh, Freeze. Oh yeah, dude. Look at that. Freeze, 1994. Tweety Bird. Those sleeves. This is crazy. Probably my favorite piece so far. So freaking cool in the large, like a, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a jersey, like a, but super cool tee, super cool, like button up tee. Got some stains, got to get out, but super cool. Oh yeah, dude. We got this, this on the uh, marina, like late 90s, like 98, yep. Nine inch nails. That is sick. The sleeves have been cut, it looks like. They were long sleeve, but they've been cut down to like like three quarter sleeves. So dope right there. We got a vintage, we got a vintage Carhartt piece right here. Sick. Uh, uh, the flannel. And we've got Oh, uh, we got Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas tea. Nice. That looks like Looks old, but it's not single stitch. So I'm kind of curious. So I gotta do some more research on that. Then we got uh, another liquid blue right here. Dope liquid blue on the the Wolf T single stitch. Great Wolf Lodge. Super dope. Super dope graphic. We got one more in this little bag. It's on an Anvil red bar. Oh, that is sick. Look at that. Look at that shark cutting through the water. Dope tee. Very dope. Super sick. Great second box. Some real dope bangers in there. We got one more box. Alright, we got one more box right here. Very cool. One more box. This might have been the heavier bag. But I'm not sure. It does feel a bit heavier than the other ones. All right, so last bag so far been quite the ride. Very, very cool. All right, we got a Screen Stars sweatshirt. We got the West Virginia Mountaineers. Dope, dope sweatshirt right there. We got a Schmidt Workwear. Schmidt Work. What? What? Workwear flannel XL. Super cool. What we got here? Got a Quicksilver flannel. This looks like a bunch of flannels. Gotta love flannels, dude. All right, we got a Sutton quilted shirt. Interesting. 
This is a vintage quilted shirt. Not sure much. I don't know much about Sutton. We got a jerseys blank. Nice size. It's like triple XL, but it's actually probably more like a modern XL. So that's cool. Gotta love the blanks. We got Toltex blank here. Sweatshirt. Dope. Vintage blank. We got some tees coming up here. Alright, we got Harley Davidson on the hollow back. Oh, nice. There we go. 1995. Ohio. Super sick. On a single stitch, Harley T. Super in super good condition, super clean. Got another Har Harley T here. XL made in America. Ride free, 1996. Not single stitch, but that's right around the time people started transitioning. But licensed nonetheless. 96, super cool. Love Harley T's. We got another Harley T. This one looks incredible. 1998. Yeah, this one's dope. Stadium London, England. Look at that. That's super cool. Super cool. The American Dream. Great Harley T. And we got some Orange County Choppers T. Nice. Early 2000s on that one. Look at the Marina. Boot Hill Saloon, Daytona Beach. Whoa, that's sick right there. Look at that, 95. That graphic is super cool. It got me on the front. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But then the graphic on the back, dude. That's, that's, that is incredible. All right, got the Oneida. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Bill Clinton and his horn. On the Oneida tag, single stitch. I've never seen this tee before. This is <laughs> my <laughs> low key one of my favorites. <laughs> That's super cool. All right, what else we got here? We got uh, we got a uh, Screen Stars Best uh, Natural Safety with Monsanto. Just do it. Just do it safe. Do it safe. That's cool. Little uh, little uh, play on the Nike piece from '93. So we got a Delta Pro Weight here. I've oh, got an ESPN Magazine. It's got that that on on down uh, the hit on the side. Bigger, bolder, better. I think. Yeah, that's sick. Nice size. Uh, vintage, probably late '90s. Got the uh, Bonhomme or whatever. I can't remember. This is a vintage uh, like plaid T-shirt uh, button up. We got this. Uh, Reebok, I think this is, I can't remember, it's probably not quite vintage, but pretty close. Redskins, I mean, they're no longer called the Redskins, who knows what they're going to be um, here in the future. But, uh, alright, we got this maze, oh, this is super cool, single stitch maze, what's the, what's the year on that, 91? 1991, this is probably like, a, I don't know. It might be. It might be like a touristy tourist tea, but was the, you've heard you guys know that I love the tourist teas. Love some of the graphics. This is a really cool graphic. Super dope. We got a lot of stuff in this one. So we got that uh, Jordan. I don't know what. I don't know what the year is on this, but it's 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 got the graphic down here on the side. Um, might be like a, yeah, it says XL. I'm not sure, but it's dope. Jordan, some Jordan merch. It's older Jordan, that's for sure. I just don't know how old. We got the Fruit of the Loom tag. Oh, yeah, don't you know? Love the Wolf graphics. This is really dope. It's got the green eyes on the otherwise black and white, and that, like, luminescent. That is a sick tee. That is a sick, sick Wolf tee. Love Wolf tees. All right, we got, uh, we got a vintage Delta Cincinnati Reds, 1993. Super cool, super cool single stitch Cincinnati Reds T. We got World Island vintage uh, plaid T uh, button up. Cool colors on that. Let's see what else we got here. 
We got some more Toltex blanks. This is dope. Some more uh, Toltex blanks. Vintage Toltex blanks. Super cool. Oh yeah, we got TNT. Uh, I have I, I come across these every once in a while. Pick the ones that are most interesting up. This one's definitely one of the more interesting ones. Uh, there's no business like snow business. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, this type of stuff actually surprisingly does pretty well. Like novelty uh, shirts for like Christmas and stuff do pretty well. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is heavy. This is like the big piece. All right, so this is the big. I think this is the big hitter at the end. All right here we got a. Yeah, vintage Carhartt, like chore coat, big heavy insulated thing right here, super dope. This stuff is super in. This thing is super warm too. Um, size XL. Yeah, we got, this is vintage from maybe uh, mid late '90s. Super dope right here. Great piece. And that, that is it. So, Justin, thank you so much for the opportunity to pick this stuff up. Yeah, the great eye. Thank you so much. Super dope stuff. Um, I know long video, uh, but it was worth it. I hope. Uh, definitely cool to get into all this stuff. In my opinion. So, if you like content like this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.